previously on Welcome to Myrtle Manor. Well, it's no secret by now. There's never a dull moment in our trailer park. Oh, my God. You mess with one, you mess with the whole damn trailer park. Master, this is my park. My dirt, we're doing it my way. Woo! I was blind, but now I see. Surprise, surprise. Amanda and Brittany both decided to go after our resident handyman. I'm hoping that uh, me and Brock are going to go out soon. Was you dropped on your head as a baby or something? But in the end, our Georgia Peach got the man. You ever shagged before? It was a hot and steamy summer for Marvin and Ann, too. I have to come out and say, I love you. And Ann. The doctor says that I have breast cancer. Would you, Ann? <laughs> Through thick and thin, their unexpected love grew and grew. What is this, their relationship? Feels like one. For Chelsea and Jared, first came love. I love you. Can you marry me? Yes. Then came marriage. Yes! Then came... I think that I might be pregnant. Oh, my God. Now they might need a trailer park baby carriage. We're going to be parents. about living in a trailer park is that we'll find a reason to break bread together whenever we can. I gotta stay back because some of this stuff in my face my mail. Today's excuse for a party is a doozy. Looks like Ann is finally in the clear. We're happy for you. All I want to say is just a teacher and you know that words misspelled. <laughs> yep. My first mammogram, beautiful words. Your mammogram is free of cancer. It's the end. It's Cootie Spring. No more cancer. Woo! Speak, speak, speak. speak. Give her speak. the speak. First of all, I thank all of you for being here. I thank you all for your prayers. I thank you that you have been on my side. Thank you for the party, and thank you. Just thank you for, for standing with me. And don't make me cry now. Through this. Cheers. You know, I had to decline Marvin's sweet proposal. I wasn't able to have a relationship and take care of my health at that time. But I'm better. I'm single. And Marvin is really the only one I want to mingle with. No, I see that. No more cooties. Ann and I, you know, we still love one another, um, but she needs some space. Uh, to deal with some cancer situations, and um, we are in a holding pattern right now, and um, we just haven't been able to, to do things that we used to do. We have another miracle. Jared and Chelsea and the baby are coming back home! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, we get to see the baby. We get to see the baby. Jared and Chelsea went back to Ohio because they wanted to be around family, and I don't blame her. To she have their baby? Yes. I feel like... I don't know, awkwardly weird about Chelsea coming back after she went home to have her baby because I haven't heard from her since then. We're so excited for Jared and Chelsea. We can't wait to see the baby. It's all good news. It There's is. There's nothing like good news. It is. While the party rages on at the trailer park, the young parents are on their way with the new party poop. Mm. Dave, I think she pooped. Chelsea's mom rented this beauty for us. Our car is to keep it. Oh, she definitely pooped. We need to stop. Since we've been gone, we went back home to have the baby near family. Yep. I'm nervous to be going back to the trailer park. We've had help, my mom, and now we don't. We'll be all right. We're on our own. We'll make it. You get to do this one. Um, no, I don't know about that. I did the last one. Scary. That's all right. Speaking of scary, I need to piss, babe. See yeah, how that has nothing to do with it. When you talk, I'm hey, releasing seriously? the monster. We're in public. I'm going to go. 
you want me to do? This is my life now. <laughs> so Jared and Chelsea are coming home this week. I mean, neither one of them have a job. Okay, wait. They're coming home with a baby, with no job. Two no jobs. She don't have a job neither? Jared used to be a stripper. So, you know, if he need a couple of extra dollars, he can come over and give me a private show. Mm. <laughs> I haven't hung out with Brock a lot lately. I mean, I asked her to kiss. I don't know what happened. He just quit texting me. And so I'm the type, if you're not going to put the effort in, I'm not going to put the effort in. So we just went our separate ways. I'm not sure what happened. I mean, there was a spark there, but things just kind of like went quiet between us. I feel bad, but it is what it is. I think Amanda's over it, too. I don't have drama. I don't get involved in drama. So the fact that I have drama with Amanda is kind of bull. Sorry for my language, but it is. So you turned your new leaf. I have, yeah. I used to, seriously, before all this, like, I used to fight, like, once a month, probably. I'm not really huge on the whole drama thing. I've been in, like, you know, in, like, a year, I got into, like, probably ten fights, something like that. I did get, like, a bad rep because of mostly Amanda, because, you know, she made me out to be this and to be that. What the f are you doing? I'm getting rid of y'all trash. I'm gonna, you wanna grab my... I think that people are starting to look past that and starting to, like, you know, get to know me instead of getting to know Amanda's roommate. <laughs> that's why I bring my pocketbook. Oh, you don't even know. Oh, oh. that's a gun. Oh. <laughs> what's, what's in that punch? Is there alcohol in it? No. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Somebody had to spike the punch, and it wasn't me. I, I didn't. I didn't spike the punch. I didn't spike the punch. <laughs> okay, bitches, I'm party. Oh, oh. the party. Becky drinking. I know this party about to get turned up. Hey, turn this punch is really good. Sofa. I'm the only one that really does enjoy the stuff because I know what I'm doing. All right, y'all, let's have a dance contest. Miss Peggy. I think she got drugs. <laughs> Brittany don't have no booty to shake, but when she drank that punch, she obviously thought she had some of what I got. I could twerk up against Brock a whole lot better than Brittany could. Oh, God! She's just like, ah! Yeah, you hear little pancake butts doing this, like a little piece of paper in the wind. And I'm just like, wow. And Brock's just like, ah. <laughs> I really thought that Brock liked me. But, turns out, he's just a man slut. And I'm really glad I didn't get stuck it in that. Love in the trailer park. It's a complicated creature. Honey, Southerners are very fickle, and relationships can burn out overnight. Mm hmm But I love you, Bennett. Well, love You're you one too. of my BFFers forever. Yeah. I swear. Every Southern party have two things. A drunk and a gun. Oh, God, Miss Peggy got a gun. Oh, oh Miss Peggy! No, no, no. Oh, my God. Why? I, oh, I want all of you. Oh, my God. a gun to an 80 year old drunk lady that's pretty scary is that thing not bb's sure. in it it's a bb gun has it got bb's in it it's the it's the becky is drunk and rolling around in the sand it is nothing but entertainment i love drunk people <laughs> What is this? Uh-oh. No, we were celebrating for Miss Ann. Oh, he's standing right here. Are you
you gonna do anything about this? I hate to come down on Becky, I really do. She's a good girl with a big heart. But sometimes we get too friendly with the people in the park and we don't enforce the rules. Just want to see her do the best job possible. Party's over because the fireworks came out. It's illegal to shoot fireworks in the city. I'm not Sir. going back to jail. When are Jared and Chelsea coming back? I think they're supposed to be back tomorrow, aren't they? Oh, they are. They're going to bring that dingy baby? Yes, ma'am. You know it's going to be a pretty baby. Oh, honey, if it looks like his daddy, it'll be a pretty baby. <laughs> well, now, you want me to be honest about it? They ain't all jokes aside. They needed that baby about as much as I needed a, a ball up my behind. <laughs> Miss Peggy. Gina, we need to do something special for him. We could set up a pretty nursery. I wonder if they have, like, a theme that they're... We could do a circus. We know Roy likes clowns, you know. You go in his bathroom, and everywhere is clowns, clowns, clowns. You go in his bedroom, clowns. I love clowns. He's got I clowns all over his clowns. house. Like, not anymore. Just He's got a clown on his leg. That's what happens when you go to Mardi Gras and get drunk. Well, it looks like a monkey. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a little higher up, Miss Peggy. <laughs> While Gina and Roy are cooking up some ideas for the baby's nursery, over at Amanda's place, she's housing a stowaway, making Brittany wish they lived in a double wide. So, not much. Playing some cards. The door's locked. It's our guest in there. I have a friend that's been staying here for a couple of days. Me and her go way back, and I owe her a favor to. But I did not know she was going to be staying this long. Like, do you know how long she's probably going to be here? She's laying low because Becky knows her, and she might not be too happy when she sees her. You know, like, you and me are already, like, all up in each other's way all the time, and now we got a third person in here. It's just going to be, like, I don't know. Well, I didn't think it was going to be too big of a problem since we are struggling with rent ourselves. I don't even know this person staying with us. She's been in trouble before, which doesn't make me want her staying here. I mean, what if she steals my stuff? I don't think it's fair. I feel like if you're, like, roommates, you've got to kind of at least let the other person know you're going to be having somebody stay here. I don't want to argue with Brittany. I mean, I really don't. I mean, if she had a friend that wanted to stay here, I would not care. I mean, she just needs to understand, like, chill out. All thing I suggest is get up earlier. Get in the shower. Coming up. What's all that stuff on the front porch? There's luggage. It's just some of my older clothes. You lying. I know Amanda, and she's not a good liar. Somebody living here? I don't know exactly what she's got going on, but I'm going to get it out of her. Jared and Chelsea are getting closer and closer to the manor. And meanwhile, Becky's telling the rest of the trailer park about the sip and see. She's been planning that thing ever since they went back to Ohio to have that baby. You know what? Hey, ladies. That's a pretty day. Yep. Well, I just came by to see what y'all are up to and invite you. We're going to have a sip and see for the baby tonight. A what? A sip and see. Oh, golly, bum. Gee, well, that's that. Oh, that sounds like fun. That put, a, that put a shot in me. And I have no idea what a sip and see is. It's evidently a North Carolina thing. What is a sip and see? A sip and see? Where you, um, yeah, sit around and you sip and fun. drink you sit and, around and see and the baby. And take yeah. a sip and drink and see the baby. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right. Okay. Fun. Jared and Chelsea went to Ohio to be with their family during the birth of the baby. So none of us have seen her yet, and we are so excited. We can't wait. I know Gina and Roy are coming. They're making a, um, a drink fountain thing. Oh, oh I'm definitely coming to this party. Girl? I just got excited when you say the fountain. Don't forget to bring some, a present. Some type of party. A, wait, a present? Oh, I'm going to bring a present. It's going to be the sexiest baby present. Oh, crap. It's going to be the sexiest baby present in the world. Well, I'll take a drink, but I don't know how many drinks I'll take. Uh -huh. We should have a good time if everybody will just stay sober. And don't shoot her behind. I said, hut your mind. Mm, look at that. It's like a tornado been here. Mmm. This is... I don't get to spend as much time like I used to with Ann. Ann is 
most beautiful person. She's sweet, intelligent, thoughtful. She smells good. And, you know, she just brings out the very best in me. I didn't even have to ask him. He's out there cleaning up my yard. So, yeah. Like, one day, God, like, broke the mold when he made Marvin. And it felt really bad. I was like, well, you know, somebody has to have somebody in life. So he made Ann. I enjoy Marvin's company and I miss it. My little cat, Joplin, she was a family companion that I've had for a long time and she passed away. It makes me realize how alone I feel sometimes. Do not judge me. Do not judge me. Why? Because there's a lot of junk in here. I'm embarrassed. Well, Jared and Chelsea are coming home, and Gina and I want to do something really special for them. So we are going to decorate the nursery. You tell anybody what all I got in here, me and you're not going to be friends for a long time. I would not let them cut my hair. No way. So there's no way in hell that I'd let them decorate my house. Oh, my God. And it's a little bit messy, too. Gina. Yeah. This looks like an episode of Hoarders, girl. I have nice stuff. It's not hoarding when it's nice stuff. We decided on a circus theme for Bellamy's room, and we decided on pink as a background because um, pink is for girls. What the name of this? That's a bobcat. I shot that bobcat. Okay. It's an umbrella that has, like, that circus motif. We can hang it upside down and, like, lay some stuffed animals hanging out of it. Okay. I seriously do not trust Rory and Gina's style. I mean, have you seen their salon? It's like a nightmare. It's like flamingo guts in there. We're There's some clowns, Gina. They're cute. I love clowns. Oh, my God, Gina. Gina. Got working with what? Where in the world did this come from? This clown. Oh, my God. We got to have this. We got to put this in a nursery. Not all children are afraid of clowns. That is a myth. Definitely has got to be in the nursery. Skirt's cute. Look! Really? I think I can wear it. Tutu. Mm-hmm. I think you should wear that to the sip and see party. Well, what is this? You don't even want to know what that is, Roy. What? I ran in a building one time oh. and it was a... Strip. It was actually. Uh -uh, Gina. Yes, we did. Come on, girls, show me. No, that. I went wanted to take. Uh, 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 uh. Bounce, Have you seen Jared and Chelsea's new little babe? No, I ain't seen it. They should be coming back soon. It's Becky. Don't say nothing about uh Yeah, that scene. Coming. Hey! What are you doing? Making jams and got it all over me. What are you doing? Hey Becky. Who's moving? Huh? Nobody. Who's moving? Nobody. What's all that on the top horse? It's luggage. It's just some of my older clothes that I'm gonna go take to Goodwill. Then why you got on the front porch? You know it's gonna rain. I didn't check the weather. You lying. Uh-huh. You, uh, you're both face lying. What's wrong? What's going on? Nothing. I know Amanda and she's not a good liar. Somebody living here? I don't know exactly what she's got going on, but I'm gonna get it out of her. I have a friend staying. For how long? Um, I don't know. You both, all three of you need to come to the office. I need um, a written permission from Brittany. Permission? To let the person live with you. Because you're both living here, you're both paying equal shares of rent. I can't believe Becky right now. I mean, I have lived here a long time, and she has never said anything like this before. And suddenly, it's a rule. All right, girls. All right. Thank Bye. you, Miss Becky. Bye. Up. Clean this front porch off. OK. There's no storage on the decks. I'll get it clean. Bye. Bye. So, uh, pressure's so, on now. God. When is it not on with Becky? I mean, I don't know, like, how fond I am of the idea of, like, having another person in here, though. I don't think Brittany understands. Like, my friend is homeless. She needs help. She has nowhere to go. I'd rather have her here than you. If you want to be my friend, I'm not going to force you to be my friend. That's OK. Don't be so damn hateful all the time. I mean, this is my trailer, too, and Amanda's always had a problem, especially after the whole thing with me and Brock. And, I mean, obviously, she's looking for any reason to run me out. Don't 
coming up. I'm so happy Jared and Chelsea are back. Let them come in and see their surprise. Close your eyes. What in the two things? I guess you could say that time is of the essence. Jared and Chelsea are almost home, which means Gina and Roy have their work cut out for them. Oh my God, Gina, this is going to be so much fun. I'm excited. Do you think that um, Jared's going to be working and supporting this baby, or do you think well, he's going to rely on Chelsea like he always has? God, I mean, think maybe she could go back to work at... I don't know. It depends on how much baby weight she's got. Well, I don't think you can be sitting there in a mermaid costume with stretch marks. Chelsea used to be a mermaid at the aquarium. <laughs> Chelsea? One, two, three, mermaid! <laughs> Why don't you move and let me see the clown? Because you're going to make fun of me. I'm not going to make fun of your clown. Just let me see your clown. I used to paint a lot when I was in high school. Roy painted paint by number. Now no, he... I did not. Oh. Let me see your clown. It's a pretty clown. Why did you make that face? Um, well, it's just... It, I... He's... He's a good clown. What is that? What? His... That's his package. Ron knows a good package when he sees one. Bellamy. What a name, Bellamy. Bellamy Roe. Roe. Does that mean like Roe, Roe, That means Roe, like, Roe? like fish eggs, I think, is the way it's spelled. Oof. Do you think they know what Roe is? There's a lot of names better than Bellamy. I mean, they could have went with some Keisha or... Ronisha, Rakisha. The Ishas is very important. I name my baby Miracle. <laughs> Does it be a miracle? <laughs> hey, come on in, Marvin. You know, I, I feel bad not being able to accept Marvin's proposal. And thinking about that, I think about how much I miss him and uh, just everything that's happened. So I actually have a proposal for Marvin. I know you come by and check on me when you can, but, but I, I've, uh, I've missed you. You know, I miss you too, you know. I just wondered if you would be interested in moving in here with me. Yes. I would love to move in. Like, um, six months ago, you know, I'm moving right away. Um, and, um, I can put my, my speakers, you know, like, um, I can put one over there under, under that picture and maybe one over here so you can have stereo perception when the music is playing. I have no idea what you're talking about, Martin. I have waited 10 months to see Bellamy. All I want to do is get my hands on the baby. That's how they spell it? No. It's A M Y. It's a trailer park. <laughs> no, seriously. Aren't y'all just excited to watch her come and we can watch her grow up? We're all outside of Jared and Chelsea's waiting for the baby to come. I thought it was really weird that Amanda wasn't there. So I decided not to hang out with everybody for Chelsea and Jared's homecoming because. I'm their party friend, and now they're parents, and I don't know where I stand with them. I'm a, I'm a little nervous to be coming back to the trailer park. I know, but it'll be nice to have her space, and we'll get in the swing of things. Families do it every day. Ah, there he is! Shut up. Oh, my God. There God is like the president just pulling to this trailer park. Look at that car. Ooh, that's it. That's it. Can we open the door? Bellamy. B E L L A M Y. It's not that hard. It's simple. It's exactly how it sounds. All right, hey, nobody touch. Nobody touch. Oh, oh you're okay. that kind of parent. <laughs> Can we at least look? 
She got the prettiest little lips. Baby's tiny. I mean, I mean, I think our babies look the same, honestly. Don't wake the beast. It's not my baby, so I love the baby. But I hold the baby and love the baby and everything, but when the baby starts crying, you can get your baby back. Don't wake her up. Jared and Chelsea. They have a beautiful, beautiful baby. We got a surprise for y'all. We got a surprise for y'all. Oh Everybody else, let, let them come in and see their surprise. I have no idea what they're I don't know why they have a surprise inside our trailer. We have something very exciting for y'all that Roy and I did. What do you mean? I don't know why why anybody had been in our trailer. That's what, I, that's what we're yeah. confused about. I locked her home when we left. Close your eyes. What nice. in the... What Chelsea. is this? Chelsea. You guys. Close your eyes. Close them. Do them. Okay. No, Open your okay. eyes. <laughs> what in the f <laughs> Chelsea? <laughs> what is this? It's a clown. This is a circus. It's a circus. A circus. She's not a circus animal. She's a baby. Do you like it? It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Creepy. What is this thing? You don't do clowns for little, like, those are... You ever seen it? Roy and Gina's surprise looks like a... Dog. Garage sale. That sells dog But look! It's creepy. I know. It's, Isn't it? Look how pretty She's gonna it have is. nightmares. It looks like it has a package. That clown's package is just, you know, just not the gift I expected them to, you know, give my kid. It's a boy. It's a boy. Why do we have a dead cat? For Roy and I to stay up and decorate that nursery, and then they came in and act like that, that nursery was the most god-awful thing they had ever oh seen god. in their life. That really, really hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, Hey, bye, guys. Kelsey and Jared are going to be moving all that crap right out. Now over at Ann's, Marvin's moving his pile of junk in. On, on the move. I'm very excited that I'm moving in with Ann. Look at this. I are told you. you. Are you yeah, excited? I told you I'd be here right after my shift. Well, you are. Are you excited? I mean, I feel so like, like I just got to Disneyland, you know what I'm saying? Well, come on. Let me grab um, a couple things for you. Let me grab I'm, a piece. I'm not to impose too much on you. Well, you're I'm not imposing. Here. Come on. Get your things in. Get you settled. The room. It's right in here, and it's got a, a comfortable single bed, and, and clean. The sheets are clean. So I can go into the room through the closet here. No, that is the room, Martin. This, this is the closet. Did you say the closet or the room? Which, which one is this? It is the room. Well, I'm here, and you know, it's just one wall between me and Anne. Hmm. I'm saving myself for marriage. I guess this is going to remind me when I was a little kid growing up. This is what it is, Ann. Hey, what are you doing? I'm in here cleaning. What are you doing? Have you gone to see the baby yet? Jerry no. Chelsea? No, yeah, well. I didn't know they were back. The thing with Chelsea is, I mean, she has Jared and the baby now. I mean, I reckon she really doesn't need me anymore. I bet they don't drink as much. Oh, no. I bet they don't. Mm -hmm. They can't. No. I wonder how they're doing on that. Who's here? Um, Jess? I think I just saw a ghost. I'm Jessica. I peed on my hand a little bit. just hit a bad spot and I was like you always got a place on my couch if you need you know help or whatever and she did girl what happened to your hair I didn't think I'll ever 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 see her again good how are you good, good. Buddy. when I first left Myrtle Manor I was all over the place got cut up in things I probably should have got caught up in and the whole time I was gone <laughs> the only place I wanted to be was here well what are you doing with yourself now whole lot of nothing. Hitting rock bottom, I definitely knew that I needed to come back here. I need to be here. Like, I need the sport. I need the people. I need the sense of family. And <laughs> I just need to be here. You look good. You, you really look good. Thank you. You don't look so 
anorexic and... <laughs> I think she's saying you look healthy, right, Becky? We <laughs> <laughs> help you there. All right. You look yeah. healthy. Jessica's gained a lot of weight, but we still love her. You don't look so thin and sickly. I know Jessica was here. How? Honey, it's a small trailer park. You cannot hide something that big. You needed to put some weight on. Maybe Jessica's overeating, you know? Well, I'm just glad. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm back. Now to get on to some serious, more serious stuff, you're gonna have to start paying rent. You got all three of y'all come out there together and bring Do Brittany. Do I need to re-sign the rules? No pay, no stay. And I'm even getting tougher. I'm just sick of people. I got a lot to do, especially before the sip and see. So I'm gonna head back up to the office. We'll get up there ASAP. Please yep. do. You know what you need to do? You need to do it quick. Amanda, Jessica, and Brittany, all in one trailer. That's like a recipe for an explosion. It's gonna be an interesting summer. Mm hmm Coming up. Y'all, it's time to start, like, giving the gift for Bellamy. Oh, boy, money. What is that? Is that his hair? Never been cut. Don't be fooled into thinking this group of neighbors is going to give Chelsea and Jared a hot minute of peace and quiet. We're all coming over for the sip and see. And if I know these folks around here, they'll be more interested in sipping than seeing. Aren't you so sweet? Oh, hi, <laughs> like, so Nobody's paying attention to you. Hi. I could not have a baby with Chelsea. I could try to have a baby with Jared. <laughs> oh, they could practice. Because all we're doing is drinking this punch and looking at it. You sip the punch and you look at the baby. Oh. I was looking for a wig. I was going for the wig, but I couldn't find the wig. I'm going to get my time with Bella. I'm going to get my time with her. You know, buy her a little mini wig. I got it. She's a baby doll. Everyone comes in. Place is full. I don't even know if the floor is rated for all this weight. Yeah, right. Beautiful little baby girl. I call her Bella. It has a ring to it. A little tiny, tiny. Thank you. I'm going to keep my eye on Bandit. I don't trust Bandit, especially around babies. Y'all, it's time to start, like, giving Chelsea and Jared a gift for Bellamy. And, you know, we're supposed to sip, see, give a gift, buy. So, Becky, if you want to give her, her your gift. Well, this is her first little piggy bank. So she can start saving money for college. I gave Bellamy a piggy bank, hoping that she'll be the first member of her family to be able to pay rent on time. Well, here, here's mine. Here's this wrapped all nice and lovely. Open it up, girl. Open it up. Oh, that's so Hello. cute. Mm. That is so cute. Thank you. Oh, Kim, no, you didn't. It's a sexy outfit. Kim. Oh, my God. Looks like a hobo outfit to me. Girl got her little sexy cuts, the arms out. Bam! A sexy baby. I got you another baby. You got us another baby. What'd you get there, Miss Peggy? I'm collecting dolls. And so I picked out one of my favorite ones and give to her. She really didn't have a name, and I would probably name her Sarah after my girlfriend. She's dead now. Thank you, Miss Peggy. Thank you. That's very Peggy. nice of you. That is. Bandit. Oh, Chelsea. Thank you. Oh. Something, a little something, something. So don't pay attention. Oh, boy, money. I know Bandit's not giving us any money. He doesn't give us anything. He just takes. So it's like a southern charm. Aww. A southern, southern charm? That is so cute. What do you know about a southern charm? What do you know about? Oh, my what? God. What is that? Is that? Is that his hair? Never been cut. Yes. Well, there ain't nothing southern about that. No. Southern charm. No. There ain't nothing southern. If you give baby a lock of hair, you have luck for the rest of your life. Irish value. Thank you, Bandit. It's a little strange, but we wouldn't no, expect anything Bandit. different from you. Many blessings for Bellamy, because, Laura, she's going to need it in this dysfunctional trailer park. <laughs> so are we going to go to this thing or not? Yeah, like, I mean, I feel like we have to at this point. I think we've done drink about it enough. Yep. Me and Chelsea are on two different life waves. She's off making a home and having kids and playing wife. And I'm still over here, you know, like I'm hanging out with Jess. 
Like, I don't see anything changing it. Let's do this. Come now, let's go see us a baby. Okay. Hello, Jessica. She is very evasive. Obviously, she slipped right under my nose. Jessica? Hi. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Jessica. I think Jess makes Amanda feel young again, but I think Amanda needs to feel her own age. What's up? Amanda and Jessica both were lit. They're the only ones that showed up to the sip and see drunk. Everybody. <laughs> Amanda has lost a lot of weight, and Jessica has found it for her. Hey, 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 hey. Oh you know, Amanda, we're at separate stages in our lives. It's life. If we drift apart, we drift apart. That's just how it happens. I'm not gonna be sad about it. Please see your baby. Oh, my God. Thank you. Who in their right mind gives an infant a BB gun? I'm surprised they didn't bring her a flask, too. The pink gun has actually been in our trailer for a very long time. Chelsea used to live with me, and when she lived with me, we had that gun. So I was like, that would be a great gift. That's like a piece of history between me and her that can be passed to her daughter. Her first gun, how appropriate. So now I know Baby Bellamy is going to be a gun lover. Coming up. What? Is Brittany home? Is uh, Brittany's car here? Whatever. Well, well, from the looks of things, seems as if Amanda and Jessica have been sipping all day long. Maybe <laughs> shower? I don't know. It's a sip and see. Everybody sit and stay. We appreciate y'all coming, but this was a sip and see, not a drink and stay. Okay, push, 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 push. I was three drinking when I went through the door. I look at the baby when it got me a drink and just drank the whole time watching the baby. Bye, Kim. Bye. Thank you for the onesie. Yeah. Bye, yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank okay, you. Okay, Amanda, Jessica, y'all be good. Y'all be safe. <laughs> yeah. It's just so crazy seeing you guys with the baby. Like, if someone told me this a year ago, huh? I wouldn't huh? believe it at all. Aww. She'll go to sleep. She's fighting it. Watch your eyes. <laughs> you see your she eyes? She told you. She's like, eh. It was good seeing you. It was good seeing you too. I'm sure we'll see you more. Now. <laughs> oh, Hopefully, yeah. more we'll see you more. Bye. That'll be nice. I'll be over there in a minute. Bye. Oh, she's falling asleep. Just keep going. Oh, I am. <laughs> My arms get too tired. I can't do it. I mean, we just don't drink like we used to. Yeah. I mean, if we drink now, we drink to have a casual drink. We don't drink to get drunk. And Amanda hung out for a little bit, and she wanted to stay up. And I mean, we don't stay up till one or two in the morning anymore. We had to get her going. We're gonna go to bed. Okay. We're old now, and it's Aww. way past our bedtime. Y'all go put her to sleep. She's tired. She's had a long day. <laughs> Night, Amanda. Bye. Night, y'all. Hey. Yeah, we gotta get her to bed. I'm tired. Yeah. Just let me sleep. Looking at Chelsea's beautiful little family, and I'm thinking, I don't have a boyfriend. I have a roommate that I can't stand, and a guy that I like doesn't like me back, and it's kind of lonely, you know? And I'm thinking, I need to reassess my life situation. What are you doing? Hello, what's up? Hey, it's Brittany doing? home. Brittany? Brittany. I just need to talk to her real quick. See what she's doing. Is she here? Is Brittany's car here? Do you see Brittany? Can you see through the, the brown? Can where she you see her car? At. What is Brock doing here looking for Brittany? I mean, he used to be my friend. It's like, ever since we hooked up, he's ignored me, and now he's trying to f my roommate? Call her before you come over next I'm time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll see yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. I thought it would be like how kosher. It, it wasn't. It was kind of weird. Bye. Whatever. Bye. Whatever. Whatever. This season on Welcome to Myrtle Manor. 
Jared and Chelsea seem to be right at home starting their new family. But will bringing up a baby in a trailer park finally put them to the test? We need a bigger place. It may look like all fun and games in our little trailer park. I can't hear you. But will Becky's big heart become a big distraction? I'll take care of baby Bellamy and I'll clean house for you. <laughs> And losing control of the park could mean opening a door to a familiar foe. Clearly, this park has way more potential. The temperature isn't the only thing heating up this summer. Everybody in the park, I'll tell you what, it's going to be a regular sex joint. <laughs> and with Amanda putting Brock in her past. I love being around you. Which roommate will he turn to now? Why would he go make out with me, make out with her, make out with me? Like, that's It's either me or it's Brittany. End of discussion. This summer, no relationship is safe. If you don't want to be friends, it's up to you. The only person you're worried about right now is you. Every oh since you came you back, back, don't stand every in your little you roommate. Oh, I'm seriously almost just done with everybody. There's got to be a way that we can learn to communicate. Are you going to throw me out there to the Mino Sharks or something? <laughs> but no matter how crazy things may get, <laughs> Turtle Manor is still our home. But what's more important than anything is that we're all here as a family. And from the way I see things right now, Bandit is in a boatload of trouble. Trader! Becky, you can't go with Becky. Watch me. <laughs> Put your big girl panties on and deal with the day.